Hi, welcome again to this tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to enable Ajax form in ASP.NET Core. Let's start. First, we will learn what all libraries are required to work with Ajax. How can we create an Ajax form in ASP.NET Core? And how to add loader in Ajax form? So it means when we will send the data from our client to the server, in that time, we need to display our loader so that user can see what is the progress and several other concepts that are required to work with form in ASP.NET Core we will learn in this video. If we want to enable the Ajax form in ASP.NET Core then we need two libraries. First one is jQuery and second one is jQuery and unobtrusive Ajax library. So by using these two libraries we can enable Ajax form in ASP.NET Core application. Let's open Visual Studio. We have already installed jQuery into our application. Here you can see that under this library folder, we have jQuery. Now we need to install the Ajax unobtrusive into our application. Let's right click on this folder, click add and choose client side library. Here we need to enter jQuery. And here we have jQuery Ajax unobtrusive. Let's click on this one and click on the install button. The Ajax unobtrusive has been installed into our application. Let's use this library into the layout file. You can use these libraries into the specific views of your application or you can use them globally if you want to use them in multiple pages. Again, here we are into the layout page and now we need to add this Ajax unobtrusive file. We need to add this unobtrusive library after this jQuery library. Either we can use it over here or we can use it at the last. Let's use it at the last. Let's use the minified version for a known development environment. Now let's see some details in this library. Let's open this library and here we need to search for data Ajax. Data dash Ajax. Okay. What does it mean? It means we need to use some attributes into our form and all those attributes start with data Ajax. Whatever logic we want to implement into our form that is written in this file and all the attributes start from data Ajax. Let's scroll down a little bit. And first, let's start from this section. Here you can see that if this data Ajax is true in this A tag, it means we can use this data Ajax on an anchor tag as well. Then we have second method. Here you can see if it is available inside a form, and at the last over here you can see that if it is available on a form and we are clicking on the submit button then it will work so in case we want to enable any ajax form into our application then we need to use this attribute data ajax and we need to set its value to true let's do that here is the form tag inside this form tag we need to use data ajax equals to true by enabling this data ajax true, our form will work as an ajax. Let's see few more attributes into the unobtrusive file. Here you can see that this is the code to send the request onto our server. And let's see some details. Here we have type and in the type we are using data ajax method. It means if you want to set the type of your method, it means get, post, delete, then you can use this data ajax method and you can pass your method name to this attribute then if you want to pass the url then you can use this attribute data ajax url if you want to enable the cache then you can use this attribute okay then we have few more methods data ajax begin it means if you want to set some logic when the request starts then we can write the function name over here in this data ajax begin then let's see some details in this complete method this complete method will get code after the completion of this request whether your request is successful or fail the complete method will work in both the scenarios in case you want to write some logic after the completion of your call then you can use this attribute data ajax complete similarly we have one attribute for the success and one attribute for the failure we have one more attribute over here and the name is data ajax mode here we can pass these values before after and replace with what is the use of this attribute it means if you want to update your dom based on the result that you got in this call then you can use this data ajax mode and based on these values you can update your dom in case you want to insert your data before something then you can use this before 
and again if you want to insert your data after something then you can use this after and in case you want to replace your data completely then you can use this value over here okay so now let's implement all these things onto our form we have already enabled data ajax is equals to true now we need to implement these attributes data ajax complete let's copy this attribute go back to the form here let's write this attribute and inside this attribute let's enter a name of a function suppose here i'm writing now what is the meaning of writing this my complete in this data ajax complete attribute it means this is the name of a function and once the request will be complete this function will get called now let's implement this function since we are using section into our application so here i need to create a new section and the name is scripts and inside this scripts let's start an script tag and inside this script tag let's write a function the name of the function is my complete let's write some code over here so here i'm writing alert i am from complete in the same manner we can add few more methods to our form so suppose i want to add a method for this data ajax success then i can do that easily similarly if you want to write your method for the failure method then you can use a failure attribute here is the failure attribute data ajax failure you can give any meaningful name to your functions and in case you want to receive the data from your function then you can pass some attributes as well over here data and let's print these values into the console here you can notice that to set the url we are using these esp action either you can use this approach or you can pass the url directly to this data ajax url attribute okay let's run this application in debug mode now let's enter some data over here click on the add book button here you can see that we got the request onto our server but before accessing this server let's see the browser details if you have seen the previous videos of this tutorial then you can notice one thing while adding a new book we were having a loader over here but this time since we are using ajax form we do not have any loader on this page let's click on the continue button the book has been added into the application and here we are getting some alert from the code that we have written first we were getting from the success and here we are getting from the complete let's see the details into the console window as well here you can notice that we are getting the console data as well so in case you want to write your logic based on that data then you can implement your entire logic over here there is no need to create the ajax method everything will happen automatically if you are using this unobtrusive ajax file now let's learn how to add a loader in this form so i can simply search for bootstrap loader click on this spinner so basically we need to use these spinners and we can use any one of them suppose i want to use this one let's copy this code go back to the application and let's paste this code anywhere in this form let's give it a id suppose here i'm writing my loader by default i need to make it display none so i can do that easily display none okay now i need to use this loader into this form here you can see that we are having an attribute data ajax loading and we can pass the id of our loader in this attribute let's use this one so first we need to use the id and then the loader you can use the class as well over here so in case you are using class then you can simply use dot and the name of your class okay since we are using this style property over here then we need to use this id as well into this div let's cut it from here and paste it over here let's save all the changes let's add some details of the book let's enter the name of the author description let's enter the total pages of the book click on the add book button 
we got the request onto the server now let's verify the loader onto the browser the loader is visible to the user till the time this request will be complete that loader will be visible on the browser let's click on the continue button here you can see that we are having an alert from the success method click on the ok again we are having it from the complete click on the ok and now you can see that loader is no longer visible it got hide automatically this is how you can create an ajax form in asp.net core and you can enable loader into your form that is all in this video i hope after watching this video you will be able to use ajax form in asp.net core if you like this video make sure to hit the like button of this video feel free to ask your questions or suggestion in the comment section of this video share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day